In this video, I'm going to show you how to tune this style of carburetor, the type with the single adjuster screw. And as usual, I'm going to include some visuals for a better understanding. Welcome to the Repair Specialist channel. I'm Craig, the owner and creator. And having been in the trade for around 30 years, I now make videos relating to the diagnosis and repair of small engines and machinery, and how things work and why. And in layman's terms, using clear visual explanations to help you gain a deeper understanding and a firmer knowledge base. Why? Because knowledge is power. So let's get to it. So here we have the Strimmer carburetor with its signature single fuel adjuster screw. This style of carburetor not only fits weed eaters or strimmers as shown here, but also hedge trimmers and some chainsaws. But aside from what the carburetor actually fits, we have the single adjuster screw. And I've been asked many times how to tune this type of carburetor with the single screw. And the adjustment on these are simple enough, so let's have a look. Okay, so first of all, we'll go through how to adjust the high revs. I have my strimmer fixed onto a stand, making it easier to make the adjustments. So of course, we'll start the engine so with the engine running on maximum, I'll take a flat screwdriver to the single adjuster screw. And if I unscrew it anti-clockwise slowly, you'll hear the engine starting to change its tone. So we can see that this single adjuster screw actually screws into the main body of the carburetor and its tip terminates in the fuel flow of the main jet before it's drawn out into the induction tube. Screwing the screw out like this is delivering more fuel down into the main jet for the engine to use and therefore there's a richer supply of fuel for the engine. More fuel than it can comfortably combust and so it makes this sound and the engine revs start to lower slightly. And if I carried on unscrewing this, the engine would most likely stop due to flooding too much fuel into the cylinder. And so if I start to screw it in again, we can see the engine revs start to raise again. And that's because it's reducing that large amount of fuel going into the cylinder and the engine can combust this amount much better and the engine does sound better. But if I keep turning it in the same direction, it's going to shut off too much of the fuel and there won't be enough for efficient combustion. And so the engine revs will lower once again and it will weaken the power of the engine. So what we're looking for is to screw the screw back and get that nice sweet spot between the two just on the edge of being rich slightly. And that's because if it's just slightly on the edge of rich, not too much, just slightly, then we've got a good amount of fuel going in there with its accompanying oil to keep everything nice and lubricated. Now we've done that, let's have a look how we adjust the idling speed. Okay, so this is the idling adjustment screw. And as you can see, it screws into this plastic part and it protrudes out through this and touches the throttle lever. And when the screw is screwed in, it pushes the lever across. And as that happens, it opens the throttle barrel beneath. It starts to show a gap, allowing air in through the induction tube to the engine. This increases the idling speed. And so in the opposite, when we screw this screw out anti-clockwise, the lever comes back this way and it starts to close that hole there, allowing less air through into the induction tube and the engine revs lower. And if you like that video, then you might like this one. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe and I'll be back soon. Thank you for watching.